All right, this is Vegeta 8259. And I think two days ago, I hit the 5,000 subscriber mark. So I wanted to make this video to thank each and every single one of you for uh, sticking with me through uh, just over two years of being on YouTube. And just uh, you guys have really made uh, doing reviews on YouTube a real pleasure. And I appreciate all of you. So, uh, I figured since 5,000 is a nice round number, um, I figured I would hold my very first contest. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I was going to have my first contest back in November, but for some reason, it's like everybody on YouTube decided they were going to have a contest all at the same time. And, uh, since all these Gunpla reviewers were doing contests, I said, you know what, I'm just going to hold mine off until... Uh, later. And now that I've hit the uh, 5,000 subscriber mark, I figured this is a per perfectly good opportunity to uh, hold the contest now. So, <clears throat> this is a Gunpla building and painting contest. Uh, so you will be submitting a uh, finished model kit uh, in an attempt to win. Alright, let's see. There's only three main rules. The first rule uh, is that the kit has to be completely painted. The second rule is that there's a one month time limit. Uh, today is January 5th, five, six, seven, yeah, January 5th, uh, 2011. The contest will end on February 5th, 2011. So you've got one month to uh, build and paint your model kits. The other uh, rule, the last rule, is that it has to be a new project that you start on uh, post January 5th, 2011. So it can't be something that you've spent, you know, two years building and painting and submit it just for this contest, uh, a kit that you happen to already have lying around. I realize that there's not really a way that I can uh, enforce that rule. However, I'm kind of trusting you guys to use uh, your better judgment on this one. Um, however, if you have already finished the kit and have posted pictures of it on the internet, I am pretty good at uh, you know image searching and going through forums and things like that. So if you've already shown it off on the internet, chances are I'll probably find out about it. So, you know, just be honest. And really that rule is there just to... Uh, put everybody on a level playing field so that everybody has the same amount of time to uh, do the best they can and uh, like I said I'm just trusting you guys to be honest with that one and you know it's just there to make sure everybody's got an equal chance uh, kind of going backwards uh, the one month time, li time limit that's kind of self-explanatory I do want to uh, explain a little bit the first rule, the kit has to be completely painted. Um, it doesn't have to be a custom color scheme, it can be the straight out of the box colors if you want to. Um, I'm not doing any themes, I'm not doing any uh, special gimmicks for the contest, it just has to be completely painted. Um, uh, I am making a couple of exceptions though. Uh, chrome plated parts don't necessarily have to be painted. Um, also, clear parts don't necessarily have to be painted. Uh, because, you know, sometimes when you get a kit, the chrome parts aren't meant to be painted. Like, if you submitted a uh, Master Grade Musha Mark II, uh, it would be perfectly fine to leave the gold parts just gold. Uh, just the way they came out of the box. Um, also, clear parts like Beam Saber Blades, you don't have to paint those. Um, however, having said that, don't think that you're going to get away with just painting, you know, a quarter of the kit by submitting something like Hyakushiki or Akatsuki. Um, you can submit those model kits, however, just know that, uh, if you do, the one quarter of the kit that you did paint better look really, really good for, uh, you to have a chance of winning, because the gold-plated stuff that's Bandai's work and not yours so just keep that in mind when uh, submitting your kits or you could always just repaint the gold plated parts so there's another option 
Uh, same thing goes with uh, clear model kits. Just because you don't have to paint the clear stuff, don't submit a clear kit and expect to win. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, about scales and things like that, I'm not putting any limits on scale. I'm not putting any limits on grade. So you can submit uh, 1 to 144 scale, 1 to 100 scale, 160 scale, 148 scale if you want. Uh, super deform kits are fine. Any scale is fine. Any grade is fine. High grade, no grade, uh, first grade, perfect grade, master grade, anything. I'm also allowing resin kits to be entered. Now, some of you may uh, think that, well, I don't have the money to afford a resin kit or a perfect grade kit. How do I have a chance of winning? Well, uh, I'm, I'd like to explain that I'm not grading the model kit itself because uh, having been into the Gunpla hobby for about 10 years now, uh, I'd like to think I'm kind of at least halfway familiar with the model kits Bandai has released. So uh, I'm pretty familiar with the kits and what they can do and what they look like straight out of the box. So I'm going to be judging the work that you put into the kit, not the kit itself. So uh, going by that, it's perfectly possible that a super deformed kit could win over a perfect grade. Because uh, even if you have a perfect grade, you can still do a really bad paint job. And uh, even if you have a simple little SD kit that only costs $5, you can do a really, really good paint job and uh, potentially win. So, uh, I guess that's the whole point of that. I'm going to be judging the work you put into the kit, not necessarily the kit itself. Um, things that would uh, be beneficial, uh, you know, doing a really good paint job, advanced painting techniques like uh, pre-shading, post-shading, uh, things like that, uh, weathering, uh, modifications, those are things that are uh, going to score you more points. Um, of course, then again, a straight uh, out-of-the-box paint job could also win because, you know, I've seen some really good straight out-of-the-box paint jobs uh, before, so, uh, yeah, there's really no telling who could win because it's uh, depending on the work you do. Uh, one thing uh, I do want to mention, I am going to be having a co-judge for this contest. Uh, Jabman025 uh, is a friend of mine and a fellow Gunpla reviewer. Uh, there's a link to his channel on my uh, YouTube channel page, so you can go check him out. He's going to be uh, helping me judge at the beginning of February. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Have I forgotten anything? About questions, I have a feeling this video is going to get a lot of comments. So, uh, and plus there are going to be comments posted on this video all the way up to the beginning of February. So if you have a question uh, about anything specific about this contest, uh, the best way to contact me is probably going to be to send me a private message on YouTube rather than asking the question through the comments section. Um, simply because there's going to be a lot of comments and it's just answering questions through comments gets a little tedious and confusing. So if you if you have a question, just send me a message on YouTube, and I'll be a lot uh, more likely to answer it, and I'll get your answer to you a lot quicker if you just do that. So uh, I think that about does it for explaining the contest itself. Um, you're probably wondering about the prize. Um, actually, I don't know what the prize is because I'm going to let you decide. The winner of the contest will receive a Gundam model kit of their choosing up to a $100 value. So uh, that'll come out of my YouTube uh, revenue money, so all the money that uh, comes from you guys visiting this uh, channel, which isn't really a lot, but uh, it's enough to buy you guys a prize for winning this contest. And, you know... Uh, since I am a partner, that money will keep coming in, so I can probably do more contests in the future this way. Uh, but yeah, the winner, uh, after the winner's selected, I'll simply, he'll, uh, I can't even talk. Um, the winner will contact me and he'll get to choose a 
model kit, uh, whichever model kit they want, uh, up to a $100 value. One last thing I forgot to mention. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Gundam model kit that you enter for your uh, entry. Um, it could be Evangelion, Macross, uh, anything. So, yeah. I guess that about does it uh, for the contest uh, announcement video. Again, thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with me all this time. I'm really, really glad that uh, I've hit the 5,000 subscriber mark, and um, I just really enjoy everything that you guys uh, do for me. And I'll continue to try and make reviews that you guys like as well. So with that, I thank you again, and I will see you guys next time.